Hello and welcome to the Core Animation Screencast. Thanks for joining me. In this episode, what we're going to do is sort of do an introduction to what we're going to build out over the next several episodes. So what we have here is a set of photos from my iPhoto library. And as I move through them, it's pushing them through a cover flow type animation. The picture that's facing us is clear and it has a little reflection on the bottom. The pictures on the right and the left are rotated in three-dimensional space. And so you can see here we have one photo on the left and one photo on the right, and the rest of them are arranged in a cover flow, sort of push out from that location. Another thing to notice is these photos on the right and the left have a bit of a blur um, pushed onto them, which sort of de-emphasizes them to make the center photo stand out a little more. And so as I move from photo to photo, it's removing the blur off of the background photo and presenting it to us head on and then rotating the photo that was selected off to the right or to the left. Now I have a couple of hotkeys defined here to sort of really help us get our heads wrapped around to what's going on with these animations. So as I hold down the shift key, it puts the animation into slow motion. And as you can really see what's going on here is the photo rotates out of 3D space and faces us directly. You can see the blur being removed from the photo that's becoming selected and see the blur added to the photo that's not selected. And it really helps keep the user of this application informed about what's going on. Now contrast that to when I hold down the Alt key, it removes the animation altogether. And in some cases, it's kind of straightforward to see what's going on because the colors are so different in the photos. But as we move into these photos that have very similar colors, it's really hard to tell. Did I move to the right or did I move to the left? And so this is one of the coolest things that I really love about Core Animation is it gives us the opportunity to show our users exactly what's going on with their data. Where did we move that picture that they were just looking at? How did we modify that table view or whatever it is that we're animating? That animation really helps the user to understand what's going on with their data and what we're doing in the application. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone builds with Core Animation. So let's go ahead and get started and we will in the course of, the se of several episodes we will build out this application. In this first episode though we're going to simply load an image off of disk and display it in the center of our screen and then as time goes on through each of the episodes we'll build more and more until we arrive at this application. 